guys, and welcome to another episode of Feed the Beast. Um, as you can see in my inventory, I have a discovery, the hoe of growth. Um, I just started some cool stuff and I got, I got too into it and uh, did it off camera. Um, but whatever. Got some aluminium in there. Oh, I don't need nether one at the moment. This is still growing back. I harvested it not too long ago. Uh, these. Yeah, aluminium goes in there. I have all the parts for a logger, no, for a sugarcane harvester, which I, I made the logger, which isn't too hard. This was in the carpenter, and these are in my my new thermionic fabricator, which goes here. Um, with I made some of these pipes as well, um, and this should be charging up. Yep, yeah, it's on 370 some something odd thousand. 378,000, nearly 380,000. But I've turned this backwards because if I, the crescent hammer, if this is, if the blue is going in, it will charge it up, but then it won't stop charging it up. Whereas if it's that way around, then it's not charging up at all. But basically, it will keep draining power even if it's officially full, and so will the rolling machine. So I don't really know what to do with them yet. So at the moment, I've just got them where I just basically turn the wire off. Um, otherwise it glitches and it just drains all the energy whereas these are all fine and I've got a hopper here going into the pulverizer going into the powered furnace so this stuff is being made so we may as well uh, go pack this away and it's correct um, barrels I also want to get some dark iron at some point to try and get um, get the chair, uh, the barrel upgrades. Um, might as well make the sugar, harvest, sugar cane harvester. Uh, and that is going to go under the, the next floor. It's going to go under this floor and have the sugar cane harvester which goes, um, it's going to be a system where the sugar cane gets picked up, put in an automatic crafting table, turned into plant balls and shoved into a fermenter which makes biomass which pumps straight into here or into here. And as you can see I've got over a, well no, I've just got, I've got exactly a stack of biomass in there, because each, each, uh, each one, each can will give you a, uh, a thousand biomass. Um, speaking of which, let's make some more plant balls. And with my new setup, with all the energy it has, um, the plant, the plant balls get used up much quicker, which is good in one respect, that it, uses them up quicker and in the other respect it means it's not always being used so it's a little bit worse as well but as you can see uh, they're it, rather than taking forever like they did before it's going down pretty quickly however when we actually set up the system with the sugarcane harvester we're gonna have to have um, some other sort of charger I don't know what to say something else to power these we won't be able to plug it into this system um, because we won't have well, we don't want to be using up all that energy, so we're going to set up something where it's taking its own biomass that it's making and putting most of it in the tank and using a little bit to power these up again. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've got a fair bit now. Um, it's working quite well. And that'll just charge up the uh, the old thingy, the MS MFSU, which is getting drained while that is charging. And also, I've got a door here now. And that doing that cuts off the energy to those engines, which means that they won't uh, the, the thing in there won't charge up anymore. But I'm, I'm trying to get to the 600,000 limit before I cut it off for a while. Um, but yeah, that's just doing its thing. Uh, I think a stack of plant balls gives you maybe slightly under half a stack of biomass, but I don't know. I'm not certain. Oh, I don't want to go down, I want to go up. Oh, my mouse is all stuck in one place apparently. Uh, we're going to try and, well, we, I, I might have, I might do the sugarcane harvester stuff off camera. Oh, oh, that's all shot. <laughs> Thank you, Hijinx, that is. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. If you'd like to check that out, I will put the link in the description. I'll have to make a note of that, otherwise I'll forget. Um, I have a spare chest and a spare sign now. Um, yeah, sugarcane harvester. I'll set that up. 
off camera, I think, because it's a little bit boring getting all that done. Um, ah, here we go. Ho of growth. Everything is coming up roses. Ha ha ha. So a thormium ho and a wand of equal trade in the infusion altar with these things will give you a ho of growth. Uh, I mean, I want to make one just to see, but then again, it's going to use up my wand of equal trade. Uh, I probably can't even use a, a half charged one, can I? We'll test it. Okay, I can always make another wand. I'd imagine a, a thormium hoe is just the same as same recipe as any other hoe, but just with thormium. I made a ton more sticks than I meant to, so ah, there we go. So infusion. Oh wait, I need the, the wand for oh bollocks. Oh thank goodness. Oh thank Christ for that. Oh for Christ's sake, forget it. <laughs> right. There we go. That's the only problem with the wand is that it's a bit <laughs> fiddly to control sometimes. Uh, ah, there we go. So you can use a half charged one. So I need some crop, some food. That has food, some herbs, and some tools. How many does that give? One tool that gives. For Christ, I need 16. I need more. Jeez. Oh shit, I just made a stack of sticks. Bollocks. Didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Um, in that one, there we go. So that's the tool part. Oh crap, don't throw that down there. What are the other parts it needs? Crops, food and herba. Um, I think, what has herba on it? I think I used a bunch of herba stuff earlier. That has food, that has food, that doesn't. Uh, we'll throw the raw steak in there. So we need. I might as well throw it all in there. And then. Four carrots. And then something with herba. Oh, cocoa beans. Flax seeds, that'll do. They're not going to want those. Okay. So 16 wooden hoes. This is going to cause a lot of flux in our world, though, because there's so much. So that's the. Well, it's slightly over the four um, food. That's the 16 thingy. That's the eight of those. And then all these tools are the two parts. That was a lot. And that's got all the parts. Ta da! A ton of flux were just released into the world, I know. Um, but this hoe of growth, let's, uh, you know what, test it. Ah, well it does four in one go. Uh, three by three, which is nine actually, not four. Okay, what else does it do? I think it's used to grow things that can't be grown. The wiki said it's used to grow things that can't be grown with bone meal, such as silverwood trees. So, uh, let's turn all our waypoints back on. And I have a silver tree marked on my map somewhere. Oh, it's there. Okay. Well, it's quite far away. Jetpack. Um, we might find one before then, to be honest. Um, ah, actually, I know a quick way to get there. If I use the portals, it's quite close to... Well, what used to be, I don't know whose house it is now, but Manny and Crisscross. Cross. It was their old house. Um, ah, well, seeing as there's his head there. I'm assuming. Oh, go! Don't tell me it's blocked off. No! Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. I'll have to fly it then. But yeah, um... If there's any part of Feed the Beast that you guys would be interesting, interesting, that you guys would be interested in watching or have me do, if you prefer the Thorncraft stuff or if you prefer the 
uh, energy stuff if you prefer me making energy if you prefer me looking up new things doing new things I don't know whatever you guys prefer leave it in the comments and I'll be happy more than happy to uh, go through it and try and make some episodes on what you guys want to see uh, I don't know what I want this soul shard for yet um, I mean zombies is something but it's not really worth it is it and you need to kill I think what is it 500 of the mob that you're trying to get I suppose I could get something like cows or pigs for food source and le well cows probably would be more useful because it's a leather source as well or sheep for wool but I never need that much wool I suppose um, I don't know I have to think about it um, also I need to take this off my hotbar because if it's in my hotbar then it will get used up um, if I kill an enemy in fact to be super safe and to make use of our new ender pouch we'll just chuck the stuff home that we don't really need yeah the hammer whatever ok well now that stuff's back in our base um, which is good because we don't want to lose it obviously You seem to level up really quickly on uh, Feed the Beast as well. Like, I'm level 34 and I must have died like a couple of hours ago when I was doing some caving. Um, so, yeah. To get back from this Silverwood tree, I might just kill myself. I might put everything in the end of Hatch and then kill myself. And then I'll spawn back at base. I may have lost my levels, but I'll get them back any, at any old speed anyway. So. Probably put hover mode on. Yeah, that's more efficient. Uh, we'll take a look in this forest because there might be another silver tree around here. Or at least we'll keep an eye out whilst we're on our way. Uh, I see, I appear to have stopped sprinting. There we go. I should have brought the scoop because of all these uh, honey hives. Or beehives. <laughs> Not honey hives. I don't know what to do with the bees as well. I mean, I want to do something with them, of course, but I just need to find what I want to make from them. I mean, I could get, like, try and make iron from them or copper and stuff like that, but I don't know. I don't know how deep into it I want to go. Very close to that silverwood tree. I hope it's still there. Hope no one chopped it down. Ah, I can see blue on the minimap. Yes, it is there. Good, 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 good. use our fist. I do hope we get a sapling from this though. If we don't that'd be disappointing. Like ruined our whole plan. I should have brought shears so I could collect the uh, leaves but I didn't think that far ahead. trees and then we can take this waypoint off as well so that will be good yep right waypoints remove silverwood remove uh, chickens I'm sure I can find some more chickens we'll remove that we'll leave the rest on there but we won't actually leave them on turn them off for now right sapling Try and enchant this sword or something, but I need to get an enchantment table set up and stuff. Ow. Ow again. Oh, well looks I shouldn't have broken that like that. I should have got it with shears and it would have actually given me the flower. Oh well. Come on, sapling. Ah, there's one. to hang around a bit while it's, uh, while it's breaking itself down. Oh, five 
ships used to them before. I swear it did. It might just be on normal zombies actually. Those angry zombies. A little bit harder to kill. I know that silver trees around your base reduces flux in the area. So I uh close by all I've got um, but yeah we'll just do the old fashioned oh, I'm going to take my armour off otherwise we'll just lose that um, get out of here take all the, the single stuff home first just so I know that's all safe It's weird that you can put the ender pouch inside itself to send it home, but but now I, I literally can't do anything, so just gonna have to kill myself, find a mob to kill me, um, and get back home. Oh, <laughs> don't know where they came from. Um, once we get back home, we can uh, pick our stuff back up. I thought in the wastelands you got like a negative effect or something. Good. Respawn. Back at base. Pick up our stuff. Lovely. Right, that goes there. Nope, it doesn't. That goes there. Uh, this goes on the back. That goes in that slot. Uh, stuff all goes here. I can take that back out now. And that. Whoops. And that. And that. I can stay there for now. Actually, I haven't got a need for it. That can as well now I think about it. Uh, I'll put these in the right places. That can come out. That can come out. I'll sort this, I'll sort this stuff out. Um, no, wrong chest. Wrong. That's one off. Goes in there. That goes there. And then Silverwood Tree. I think I'm the only one on the server, so I will uh, sleep. Just as soon as I have removed the death point, if I'm not bothered. Um, oh, it's practically daytime already. You can see the sunrise in the background. Right, Silverwood. I suppose we could. I don't want it too near the furnace, actually. Uh, well, here looks fine, to be honest. Ah! Ta da! So, yeah, you can't grow that with bone meal or anything. I think you can let it grow by itself, but I mean it's more useful to have something that will do it for you. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty, <laughs> was a pretty big silver tree, um, and that should reduce the flux in the area. So I think I'm going to try try and keep getting these these tools, these thormium tools, because um, they're quite nice. Uh, the hoe we have, we'll store that away for now. Uh, we may have to get the other ones before we can get the other tools. Uh, that goes in. That goes in the thormium chest as well. The silver logs. Right. Uh, so more wands. So that's, f I'd imagine, fire, earth, water, and light or something. <laughs> we'll try. I don't know. Try something. What if we put just cobble in there? It's always something. Ah, there you go. Wand of frost. Ah, frost. That's what. Right, what would, what would the other parts be for that? Ice of some sort? Snow. I need snow. I need snow. Snow or ice, I suppose. Um, oh, by the way, yes. I mined up one piece of iridium with my turtle. So, happy days. Um, I'm going to go make a uh, thing. One of these. Shovel. Um, I imagine the wand. Oh, look at all the fire shots I have. Actually, I should probably save those for when I'm doing the fire wand. Um, tell you what I could do. Take that out for now. And then start the fire wand as it is. Um, there you go. Uh, yeah, wand of fire. 
You think you might be able to adapt the enchantment on a normal wand, turning it into a fire hurling weapon of destruction. Destruction, possibly? Yep. Ah, and weapon. Sweet. Uh, we could chuck away our sword, I suppose, but I think we have some arrows downstairs we could use. Uh, wait. Put that away. We should not have been able to do that. Um, arrows. I swear we had some. Yeah, we did. There it is. Oh, there they are. Wand of fire. Sweet. Anything else with weapon on it? Yep. Oh fuck, that's just that, isn't it? Yeah, I made a second Wand of Frost one. Ah, oh well, chuck that away. Um, that was a shame. Okay, so Frost, I'm gonna need probably. You think you might be able to adapt the enchantment of a normal wand, turning it into an ice hurling weapon of destruction? Right, so I'm gonna need some. Ah, also shards have ice on them. Don't need to go ice hunting. Magic and ice, I'd imagine. Sweet. That's pretty cool. Um, I'll just leave the arrows in there for now. I don't need this shovel anymore. Ah, unless I can. Uh, yep, research something with shovel on it. Uh, whether that was. I think a shovel has the wood stuff on it. Yep, wood is part of it. Come on, there we go. Take your time. Um, axe. Oh, axe, okay. Of the stream, so that'd be water. I think sugarcane has water on it. I don't want to be wasting tons of water shards. Um, Well, one of them thinks it's going to be tall again. Um, I would imagine so. What did we? I can't remember what we just researched. Oh, yes, the wands. Okay. So the wand of fire is made by three fire shards and an apprentice wand, and the wand of frost is made by three water shards and an apprentice wand. Um, that's pretty good. Some dirt, possibly. No, not for the. Not for the axe and the stream. For the. Earth wand. Still unknown, eh? Could be anything. Get some earth shards out. Bollocks. Just wasted a ton of earth shards. We're going to need to save at least three of them to make the earth wand as well, so that was the wrong decision. So, what could have earth on it? I don't know. I do not know. Right, we'll leave the axe in there for now. Um, I want to say magic. Nope. Even though it's a Thormium thing. Whatever. It's going to be tall and I can't even remember what the... What did the hoe have on it? Ooh. A noisy motorcycle just went past outside. Um, tool. Well, we'll get the tool done. It might show us what the last one is, actually. Oh, fuck it. Make a ton of them. Oh, motion. I suppose the moving water or something like that. Ah, there we go. Motus. I don't know what else has motus on it. We'll leave these in here because we're going to need some more tools at some point, undoubtedly, to make other things. Um, I think rubber might have, I, I know it has control, but I don't, yeah it has motion as well, sweet. We might as well use that up then. Axe of the stream. Sweet. Make one of those in a minute as well. Oh, did I just dupe my rubber? Um, and that comes off there. So is there a tool for each of these? Maybe. 